Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and you have returned once again to the Dune Canyon map on Transport Beaver 2. You have. This is where you are now. And uh, I promised you last time that we'd be taking a look at air freight. And here's a piece of air freight landing now. Well, there you go. Is that true to my word, that's what we're going to accomplish. Yeah, I know, it's like sticking to a plan or something. These things almost never happen. Right, we're picking up the action here in El Paso, where uh, we built a, a fairly lazy, it has to be said, uh, commuting bus route kind of a deal thing last time around, and well, well, wouldn't you know, it's heavily, heavily oversubscribed. In fact, this is the El Paso commuter. Uh, the, the Huntsville to, uh, to El Paso Intercity, nothing, not a sausage, uh, but, the, uh, but the commuter is, is going very nicely indeed. Um, let's move this one over on a Terminal 1, and then we get a little bit more passenger capacity here as well, uh, which is, you know, that's, that's uh, using your mind, that is, using your brain to solve something with problems. And there they all go, look, that's it. You lot all toddle off over there. And uh, we might get a little bit more, uh, a little bit more something as a result. Anyway, right, what are we doing today? Uh, aircraft, friends, is what we're doing today. Uh, we're going to do another crossing of the canyon, uh, this time with freight. Now, we know already that the, uh, the big freight center down here is, hey, look at this, this is coming along. The only real downside to it is the amount of flipping storage space we don't have uh yeah yeah look there's it's got an issue or two in there it's completely overloaded although that's main for uh so it's, it's the main line uh maybe we should just buy another main line train you know what uh, there are worse ideas you can have okay yeah we'll do that main line freight west uh call up this manage the vehicle and clone that bad boy Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not sure you can clone clone it again. Um, yeah, good point and everything, but I'm not sure you've actually set that main, main line up yet to run multiple vehicles. Aren't you just running one right now? Pardon? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, just... Yeah, look, 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 problems, problems. You're creating hell on earth. Um, all right, wait for it. Wait, wait, wait. We'll just t put some one-way signals on and everything we find. It won't. Yet yeah, will. Have some faith. Okay, well it's not yet broken. Uh but give it a give it a moment. I had a feeling there it was gonna make the I've broken noise. So there there is one. That's which is nice. It's actually on the right side of the track, which is helpful. Um Yeah, no, I think it's gonna be the turnaround at the other end that causes us untold pain and suffering. Uh right, sling one there. Take it off one way. No, no, you're going to need to one way over here as well. Okay, no, it's fine. It's fine. These these things need attending to. You hadn't intended to do this today, but apparently you are doing. So, uh, you know, well done. Good luck. Uh, yeah, I can't even remember how far this goes at the moment. It's uh, it's evidently going further than uh, than Abilene. Maybe it goes as far as El Paso, and that's where it runs out of juice. There, ah, there we go. Red, red thing. Yeah, okay. I knew that was coming. It's because it can't turn around. I'm pretty sure it can turn around at the other end, though. Well, okay, if you say so. Uh, right. I think we can resolve this end uh, as a as a temporary solution uh, by uh, by giving it a bit of that. All right, just just put a bit of that in, and that will that will solve any uh, any mix-ups that occur. Right, freight mainline west is broken. Yeah, it is. If we uh, if we change the, the platform it goes into, though, it won't be broken. Uh, so that's El Paso. We want you going into the other one. Is it one? Yeah, and then on the way back out again, go into the other one at Abilene. Is it one? I don't know. Oh, yeah, it looks like it might be. Okay, cool. Um, and then presumably Fullerton, we're probably going to want that one going to one. Oh, that's fixed it. There you are. It's all sorted now. There you are. Marvellous. Right. Okay, well, that's, I mean, that should alleviate the problems at Oceanside. That's, I mean, that's a good place to start. So Oceanside is one end of the, uh, of the plane line that we're going to run. Now, we're going to land at the, uh, the International Municipality Airport style thing here. Uh, if I can put a freight terminal on there. Oh, 
yeah, you haven't really got the space for it. No, I've got this flipping goods factory in a way. You can move the airport. I think that's rather overkill, don't you? Uh, right, uh, freight cargo terminal. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we're going to have to remove the hangar. Okay, well, the hangar's not essential to the operation of this. Just be careful you don't delete the whole thing. There's a good lad. There we are. Right, try it again now. Cargo terminal, please. Thank you. It'd be nice if I could get another one in there, but it's it's okay if I can't. Uh, right, okay, fine. That's that dealt with. We've only got one hangar now anywhere on the network, but that's fine. I'll add some more. It'll be okay. It'll, it'll be okay. Right, so we can now take cargo. Uh, and you don't quite talk to the railway station, and it would be very useful if you did. So I'm going to grab a tiny bit of road here and just sling it across there, and that should do the trick. There we go. Good. Trick has been done. Um, but I don't think that's necessarily the solution to the problem, unless I add a third platform here purely for picking up I don't know whatever random stuff gets dropped at this station. Again, there are worse ideas. Uh, so you could then route through onto the same line that everything else is using. It means a bit of shared platform action, but that's not so bad. Um, yeah, okay, all right. Yeah, uh, hold on. Yeah, it is so bad. Why? Because this is running two-way. Well, we'll use the other side of the track then. There you go. What's your problem? Uh, good. Why are you circling? You shouldn't be circling. I haven't got that many planes that you need to circle there, amigo. Oh, in fact, how's this going to do its uh, do its approach? Let's ride on and find out. Please don't fly through the buildings. That would be bad. I think we're going to be okay based on the uh, based on the route we're taking here. Eee, squeak it in. All you people in the flight path, double check your planning permission before you start building anything, okay? Because things could get, you know, real. I mean, you know, you haven't got a lot of clearance as it is. I made this majestic uh, approach here, hoping for exactly this kind of thing. What would be even better is if we also then now got uh, some skyscrapers up on this side, so it did have to come straight through the middle of them. That would be very nice indeed. Okay, uh, enough pontification. We're going to fly from Oceanside out to Independence. Uh-oh, what, what now? Who, what, what? Train 77's got an issue. Okay, what do you mean you've got no path? You should have a path. You're at Abilene and you've got no path. Sorry, no, we're not on, we're not on planes just yet. Uh, quick question. Uh, how did you end up on this track? I mean, seriously, where did you think you were going to go? <laughs> uh, oh, so I've gone wrong. Yeah, you have. Um, right, that's uh, interesting. Yeah. How? 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 How have you ended up over here? Shouldn't actually be possible. I mean, clearly it is, but it shouldn't be. I'm just going to turn you around and hope you can figure it out for yourself. But, uh, oi, clown, sort it out. Go the other way. Um, yeah, okay. Of all the issues I anticipated encountering on this jaunt, that was not one of them kind of go I've gone so very badly wrong I put the points the wrong way oh, only a fool would put the points the wrong way <clears throat> right back to independence that I think that's probably going to work I'll be, probably be back over there in a moment um why independence I hear you ask oil friends we've got a bit of coal we've got an oil we've got uh, we've got some construction material jaunt kind of thing being done and uh, and it's also it's connected right Ah, uh, yeah, it might well be connected, but it's only connected with hoppers and uh, and tankers. And therefore, it might the other the other reason I like this this location is uh, is due to its altitude. Um, yeah. Okay. Right. Well. Um. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Do you want to proceed with this? I think I probably do. Uh, it's just a question of where I'm going to stick it. Because uh, the oil will do us the power of good up at that end. That'll be that'll be very useful. Um, it's just a... Yeah, I've, I've, I'm foxing myself here. Well, let's have a... Let's size some stuff up and see what it looks like. What are you? You're a tiddler. 
No, a tiddler actually might work quite well. I mean, it limits the uh, the planes that we can run. Uh, how about a big? Well, that's that's a bigger one. Yeah, or cargo cargo airport. That's the uh, that's the big dog. Now we're only running it to one location, so actually a little airstrip like this will probably do the job just fine. Now we can stick it out there and get access to coal and probably oil. Yeah, or. Yeah, we can stick it over here and get stuff rooted on. Because it's about what we're going to get access to, you see. it's If I can, if we're close enough to the, this oil well, then that'll be enough. That'll, that'll be everything we need. We, we'll probably need some kind of truck idea here as well. I don't even know what that's for. Um, we'll probably need some kind of truck idea here as well to, uh, to ship stuff uh, locally. Oh, hold on, just if you bang that in there, yeah, you see that's that's pretty pleasant. You're not going to get access to more than one thing, but that works. Yeah, it does. Maybe it's just an oil flight. Okay, well, look, start there and see where it leads us. Um, let's, you know, it's an adventure into the unknown. So, why why try knowing it to begin with? Uh, you run out to here, yeah. You uh, you slap onto there. I mean, come on, AI. You should have you should have had this this notion already. But uh, I'm I'm prepared to help. Uh, right. So they're going to come in that way and then head out the other way. All right. Okay. Yeah. Now, what are you going to do as far as whatever's coming in? Because this is not going to be just a one way jaunt. Uh, the ideal would be to get it over to the station here. Oh, hold on, something's broken. Hello. Well, it seems to be the problem. I'm lost. Okay, yeah. All right, where are you? I don't even know how this happened. Let me just check the platform alignment here. All right, because it seems to be fine. Abilene doesn't make any reference to platform four, does it? No, it doesn't. All right, train 78 has got an attitude problem. Uh, I'm going to turn it around again. If we see it again, I'm going to scrap it and we'll, we'll put a fresh one on. But given that this is the junction and that it didn't overlap the junction in any way at all, I fail to understand how this happened. I really don't, I don't get it. I don't understand how this happened. Because it's going to go back and do everything correctly. That's very odd. It's the same train. Yeah. Can I tell it to go somewhere else? No. I don't understand. All right. Okay. We're going to sit with this for a minute. We've got. We've got. Uh, we've got. A, we've got a CSI of this train. Now I mean, here comes the next one. I mean, I'd be stunned if it went the wrong way. So look, no, it's, it seems to have its wits about it. Well done, good. Uh, yeah, well done in following incredibly simple instructions. Uh, I mean, this one's got all kinds of flipping perplexion. All right, in we come. Yeah, this is quite a. It, there, there's quite a Cthulhu-esque vibe going on here at the uh, at the Oceanside Hub. Right, you pick up some gubbins. Good. Right, clear off. We, we need to know where it's going. We definitely do. Hey, look, there's some iron ore coming in. That's that's good. Not very much. Not as much as I'd hope. Uh, but anyway, it is what it is. Look, lots of trains. And I know we're running at high speed, but uh, sorry, I, I want to I wanna CSI this before, uh, before moving on. Not that it's a real hold-up to things. It's just I've got absolutely... And it could be simply that it needs to complete its route in order to reset its its understanding of the universe and how that works. Um, in which case, a temporary piece of track there will do the job. But it shouldn't need a temporary piece of track. It should now just go the right way. Like that. Oh, and I'm even more confused now it's done it properly. That makes no sense. But hey, it is what it is. And uh, we always knew to expect the unknown here at the unknown section of the, the thing that we're doing. Um, right, back to Independence. We've got our airport up. We've got it connected somewhat. 
Uh, now, what gets picked up from here? That's the Indianapolis Freight Terminal. It just does oil at the moment. Uh, but what's the train got? It's got boxcars. It's got it's got everything but hoppers. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean that could be that could be okay. Yeah, all right. Okay, so have we got a truck stop here as well? No. Okay. Well, if we put a truck stop in, and we'll uh, we'll just set up a little truck route to uh, to connect the two up, and we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you, this is a it's a very lazy way of operating. Is uh, is using main lines to do everything because you just kind of go, well, I just set it up. What what the game chooses to do with it is is it, it's that's entirely on the game. Kind of go, yeah, you're you're just abdicating the responsibility of setting things up properly, aren't you? Yes, I am. Right, here we go. So new line, All right from Aurora Holt, and it goes to Upper Independence. What? You sure? What have you just... Uh, well, hold on. Let's get rid of Upper Independence, right? I'm pretty sure Aurora Holt is the right kind of thing. Yeah, I clicked on the wrong thing. Uh, and then Aurora North. Well, I'll tell you what. Since you think you're Aurora, I'll give you... Uh, uh, Aura. Yeah. Freight. Yeah. Air. Yeah. Connect. Oh, I love it. Yeah, that's a very good name. Uh, and then uh, we'll buy... What route are you taking there? You know what you need? You need to bypass... Yes, you do. Yeah. If we uh, if we connect this up and complete like a ring road around the outside there, that could work. Um, assuming, of course, that the uh, the game goes, yep, that's totes what I want to do. Uh, right, we'll take these guys and we'll have three of them, which is probably overkill, uh, but it will do the uh, it will get the job done no matter what. In fact, I'm not entirely sure it will get the job done. It might come up short, but we can always add more. Uh, right, get rid of that, and uh, and then off we toddle. No, no, get rid of get get get. Thank you, autosave. If you wouldn't mind finishing your job there, I could I could get back to work. Thank you. All right, there you go. And grab and go. Yep. Okay, that's that bit. Yep. And grab and go. Yuck. Yeah, I'll I'll agree with that. Yuck is the right word. Grab from here and to there. Yep. All right, and then back on the curvy stuff. Uh, grab that and wiggle it around over there. Okay, that it, has it uh, has it learned that that is a sensible move? Yes, it has. Okay, all right, all right, okay. Now then, air, air portage. Let's go. New line. Uh, Aeroplanes, please. New line. Yeah, from here. Yeah, just do laps. Uh, that'll that'll surely pay off almost as well as what we're actually going to set up, uh, and then down to Oceanside South. I I'm very worried about what path it's going to take to approach the airport there. Hopefully a sensible one, but you never know. Uh, so anyway, this is going to be the Independence Freight Flight. Independence Freight Flight with a. a an erroneous capital L in there. I'll just, you know, let's, there you go. Right. Now then, what sort of plane would work well for this? Well, whatever they'll allow us to use out of this hangar, I reckon. Uh, planes. Yeah. I know. I want to buy some. I, I do. I just, yeah. Give me, give me this. No, wait, what? Buy vehicles. Thank you. Cargo. We've got a C49. That'll do it nicely. Uh, and we're going to run stuff it four of them uh, we don't need that many but I do I definitely definitely need that many here we are in 19, 1973 and we're running C49s well you run what you can and I'm sure there are still some in operation commercially even now I have absolutely no proof of this, of course, but, uh, but no, there, there it is. There, there, yeah, there it is. All right, but this this is going to be an adventure. We'll we'll see how it goes. But that's a that's a bunch more aircraft that we've stuck in the air, and we're already now going to have to start thinking about congestion at Oceanside. Yeah, 
But the, the good thing about congestion is every time that, the, that a plane has to wait to come in, it creates space for itself in order to do so. So therefore, providing in, you know, in like, say, an hour of game, there is, uh, there is any space at all for a plane to come in to land, eventually that plane will find its space. And then the spacing that it put in, all being well, uh, will, will work out. The only time it doesn't is when you've got um, uh, lowest common... You have to get into maths uh, with regard to flight times and distance between airports and queuing stuff and all that kind of business. Yeah, I'm making it sound way more technical than it actually is. Uh, right, let's get in here. We're going, for a, we're going for a quick jaunt. It's not a very long one, this one. Look at all this train action. There's a lot of train action going on down there. Oh no, hot so I thought it was a lot of train action. It was actually only one, but it's quite empty in the middle. Uh, and there's a passenger train running next to it. That's quite nice. There's another passenger train just having left Hollywood. I'm going to suggest that is. I think because it is Hollywood. Some of these cities are growing up quite nicely. And obviously, we I, I rarely revisit uh, places that we've uh, we've worked on previously. There is there always tends to be a sense of forward momentum. Right, 61 miles per hour. I think we can do a little bit faster than that. How about you flatten out? And we do just that. Should we... Uh... Hello! Oh, I can barely see. I'm very short. Yes. Now, now given that that is... Is it Hollywood? I'm pretty sure it is. I didn't think Hollywood was that convoluted. Maybe it's Birmingham. No, it's Hollywood. It's definitely Hollywood because up there is the... Uh, is the, the run up the, the ledge to whatnot. Okay, well, that's, I mean, that's a good, there's a goodly amount of spider-webbed track going on in there, and, uh, and I know it works relatively efficiently, but then I'm, I am playing it low and dirty by, uh, by doing a lot of, you know, one train, one track kind of an approach. That's not difficult. Uh, I am looking forward to, uh, to multi-training some stuff. There's our new uh, uh, freight line there. And that is hopefully what the cargo that this particular route transports will end up travelling on. Because down there is the oil refinery. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Coming on in. Now there, what route are you planning to take here? Hopefully not one that makes newspaper headlines. Although I imagine the newspaper is constantly full of It's an accident waiting to happen, you type stuff in terms of the Oceanside uh, Airport approach. I mean, I could always wang it round the other way, but then you couldn't guarantee that this clown wouldn't bank sharply to the, uh, to the right after takeoff and fly immediately through a sky rise. Um, we'll see. I ought to jump outside, really, shouldn't I? Well, hold on, let's do a bit of this. Yeah. Okay, all right, that's good. I think you're landing gear. I think we're going to recreate the end of Con Air. Oh, hold on. Are we? No, nope, so far so good. No, nope. end of Con Air. All right, okay, fine. Well, bomb. That's unacceptable, I'm afraid. I mean, this is a this is not an unacceptable view, though, is it? There you go. If I use this as the uh, as the thumbnail for today's episode, you're going to go. Oh yeah, I look forward to seeing this. Failing to realise at the time, of course, that uh, I took this shot immediately after it flew through a building. Ah, well. That's... that's the way it goes. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have to... I'll, I'll, I'll need to come up, with a, come up with a solution to that. The other thing that I'd like to see, developers, given that I know you're listening, um, is uh, aerial waypoints. Please? If you let us set aerial waypoints that work just in the same way as other waypoints do, uh, we can route around our own complicated business and uh, I imagine it won't be long before people start creating stunt tracks for planes. I know I certainly will do, but then again I try creating them already because I, I care very little for realism. Uh, I care for is that fun to look at and uh, planes flying under bridges and so forth. That's, that's, that's very much my kind of jam. Right, okay, well, there we go. It's, it's not 100% uh, wonderful. Uh, providing we don't look at it very often, it'll be fine. 
Yeah, you see, I think even if I were to reverse the approach, they'd still, they'd take off and then immediately go, way straight through the buildings again. Uh, yeah. Okay. Good. Still, this is, uh, you know, it's, this makes for a scenic shot, though, doesn't it? The answer you're looking for is yes. Yes, it does. Now, what we're really waiting for is uh, for anything to wish to be transported by plane. Uh, yeah. Okay, so, so far, not a lot going on here, I'll admit. Yeah, there isn't nothing, nothing really happening here at the current time. Uh, that's, that's okay. That's, that's fine. We weren't necessarily expecting it to all kick into high gear immediately. Um, yeah, I was. Let's go at the other end, because, uh, if anything was going to kick off, it'll be at this end. Have you there, Independence Airport, started soaking up some, or, no, you haven't. All right. Would you like to explain why not? Well, because we have to fly all the way down there and then unload, get on a truck, go to the hub, get on a train, go out and be refined, where there isn't necessarily a use for the refined oil afterwards anyway. Yeah, but the game doesn't care whether there's a use for it or not. It, it just does it. Yeah. You're quite happy shipping it across town in the truck, though, aren't you? I'd, it's going to work, all right? We just we just have to stop looking at it, and then it'll work. Now then, I'm, I'm afforded just a little bit of time to do something else, if it pleases me. Uh, does it please me? Um, what about the freight junction at Abilene? What about the freight junction at Abilene? Let's go get this oil. All right, okay, we can do that. We've got time. Uh, right, okay, so one of these, uh, shorty, yeah, 240 is plenty, high speed is good, single platform, please. What sort of altitude change are we looking at? That's ah, not too bad. Okay, right, whiz it around. Yep. Uh, I'll, I'll even, I'm going to go very lazy and we'll hook it up like that. Okay. Oh, yeah, you're not going to see a simpler track laid today. I'll tell you that for nothing. Uh, get around the corner. Yep. Okay. Figure out where you're going. Uh, was it Abilene? I was pretty sure it was Abilene. We appear to be going towards Charlotte. We are going towards Charlotte. Is Charlotte the one you want to... Yeah, it is Charlotte. No, it's, it's the Charlotte Fullerton Interchange .com, uh that we're heading for. And it's right there. Okay, well, in which case, the best time to make that crossing is going to be to go across the top of this tunnel. Okay, well, we've got a bit of uphill to uh, to deal with. But I think we might be able to make that work. Good luck, though. Thank you. There we go. Top side. Right. Okay. So, about there. All right. And then over the top we go. Please. And we're going downhill. Why are we going downhill? Well, we are. Don't. Look, if, you, if we're going downhill, then you spent too long going uphill. Bulldoze this back a bit. Yeah, go back by two, and that bit, thank you. Right, now grind that. I've got to remark on it again, because it's only just occurred to me. One of the changes in the Transport Fever 2 was that when you build bulldoze stuff back again, you know this already, uh, it, uh, it heals the landscape. And much as I did at the time, I said, that's nice and all, but I really quite liked the scarring left on the landscape as a result of your imperfect track planning. Uh, because it left, uh, you know, it was, it was archaeology, effectively. It went like, oh, well, I remember when the route came this way. Or, oh, yeah, I remember when I spent 90% of my budget on this line and then went, oh, hold on, that isn't going to work. Uh, and, you know, I just like that. I did. I did. I mean, without a doubt, I think I might be going into a Transport Fever 2 review. Oh, gracious. Because I've played a bit of it now. And uh, I think that it is equal parts a step forward and at the same time, it's lost its magic. And I think that uh, the, the new conveniences that it has are amazing and wonderful. Uh, the overlays are better. I don't. I, I still don't like the main menu system as well. It just feels it feels too finicky compared to the uh, to the previous iteration. It works, and you can figure out your way around it. But it does feel like it's more of a faff 
to uh, to have the uh, have the menu segregated in the way that they are. But it's not the end of the world. Um, uh, emissions is a non-issue. Uh, you can just ignore it, and therefore you don't have to pay for the trains to be fixed up. Um, Though, which means that your your economy spirals out of control in no time flat. I mean, I, I get that for new players, figuring out uh, the well, no, no, you 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 evidently zigged when you should have zagged there. Uh, yeah, I did. You did set the route up though, so we can get to this. Manage the line, and then rename it. Carry on. You were doing well. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, um, I, I forgot what I was talking about. Well, you know the general topic. Yeah, I do know the general topic. Hold on, give me a moment. It'll, it'll, it'll come to me. Um, yeah, emissions. Uh, yeah, all they do is slow down town growth. Well, frankly, town growth is always slowed down anyway. It's not like town growth is exponential. If it were possible for Oceanside, for example, to continue growing so that it encompassed this entire area and spawned additional towns along the way because, you know, it warranted suburbs and that kind of thing, but by having high emissions, it would stifle your ability to do that, then yes, that makes a lot of sense. But as it stands right now, you're looking at this many skyscrapers versus add that many more. And you kind of go, yeah, all right, uh, don't care. And therefore, you don't bother replacing your trains. Now, instead of trains kicking out more emissions, if you made them go slower, as the maintenance broke, as the maintenance wore down, then again you could completely ignore it, but uh, you'd want to change it in order to uh, to be able to continue running. Yeah, you would. Yeah, you would. I have a feeling I set that line up wrong. Yeah, you might have. Yes, I might have. I think you're also looking at something that is irrelevant at this point. Oh no, I wanted the terminal, the depot. Okay, was I illustrating a point? I don't think you were. Okay, right, so this is the Fullerton oil thing. Right, so there's that. Um, uh, what else? Uh, terrain manipulation is good, is is very good, but it becomes quite obvious that it is not entirely freeform um, and that you are uh, you are grid-based to some degree. Now, that's not a, that's not a deal-breaker at all, uh, but it means that uh, when you see ships moving, where ships will only follow grid direction, you just kind of go, nah, that's not that's not great um, and sometimes it is limitations that make things uh, you know they make things better sometimes not every time sometimes 180 capacity go again there you go buy one of those right slap this on the Fullerton oil production please uh, there you go right that shouldn't have a problem there's nothing else using that route and it can get out there I know it can um, yeah so it's it's like many steps forward, many, many steps forward, especially in, uh, in the sense of making life easy for people. The problem is that in lo making life easy for people, you've missed, the, uh, you've missed the bit that makes it challenging to play. You've missed the bit that makes it more, more engaging. You know, adding stuff like modular stations is great, but we've lost the curved stations, and they were really important. Um, also, you've, you've kind of only half done modular stations. Having being able to bolt two stations together, well, I could do that anyway by just sticking them next to each other. Um, changing the layout of, uh, of truck terminals, brilliant, love it. Why can't I build a truck terminal into my station complex? That would be great, because then you could have merged you know, ports and rail stations or, or, uh, or truck stops and airports and that kind of thing. That would be great. Or, you know, tram stops within the, the airport concourse, that kind of deal. That would be great too. Um, it's like there's a lot of really good ideas that just need a bit more development going into it. But I come back to, I think it's lost the magic. And the magic came from, it kept you honest. You know, a high detail player is always going to be, you know, immune to such things because you run with no costs turned on. Fine. Uh, but if you're playing as I do, where, uh, you know, you're trying to, to play the game rather than just make something pretty, uh, then you need those costs to, to stay honest to things. And I could arbitrarily just start replacing vehicles to get rid of the accursed pop-up at the top of the screen. But why bother? It doesn't solve any. It doesn't solve any uh, any logistical problems for me. It just stops the pop up at the top of the screen. I mean, we're, we're actually running in parallel. I hope you can make it out with a with an Alco that's running up there. 
this is all coming on quite nicely, you know. I know, you don't appreciate it unless you ride on once in a while, but it is growing quite, quite nicely. Anyway, that's me two pence worth. There's probably more to it as well. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a weird one because by improving the game so significantly, it's hurt the game. I don't know. Yeah, fling your, uh, fling your opinion in the comments there, uh, by all means. It definitely looks better. I'll say that for nothing, is that, you know, it is a far superior game when it, when it comes to the, you know, the, the prettiness of the whole thing. That's great. Uh, there, yeah, 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 that's good. But you get over that quite quickly. I mean, I don't, it, that, that's not to say, like, you don't appreciate a good view. Heck, I'm on a flipping sand, I'm on, like, a one, uh, a one tile uh, textured uh, environment. And, uh, and I still, once in a while, go, that's a nice view, that is. Uh, so, you know, that's, that's testimony to the, uh, the improvement in the graphics. Uh, but that's not what will keep you coming back, though, is it? That's what will make you go, oh, that's nice. But what will keep you coming back is, is what you do with it once you're, once you're in there. Hey, it's still a good game. There you go. It would still get my recommendation on the Steam there. Oh, look, there's a higher water. Oh, are we reaching a point now where your network has got enough stuff going on that you can just ride around and go and go like, oh, that's nice. Well, that's what I've been doing for the last couple of minutes. Also, we're going uphill here. Yeah. We, don't, we shouldn't need to. Yeah. You really should pay a little bit more time surveying before you place track. Otherwise, you end up building stuff that's unnecessary, like this bit. Yeah. I mean, it's not like you, you've got a great view here that makes it worth a while. Because you're going to get into this tunnel, then go downhill like a rocket. Well, I mean, rocket might be pushing it a little bit. You know what I mean. Well, we'll see. Anyway, I've been Colonel Failure. Uh, thanks very much for tuning in today. Impromptu reviews uh, notwithstanding. Uh, next time, I think what we will aim to do is extend a passenger line and extend a freight line as well because we are close to full connect connectivity. Now, those who feel the need to go, you haven't done the one in the bottom of the canyon, obviously, I'm saving that till last. Obviously. Why would I put the cliffhanger, oh, how's he going to solve that? Why would I do that early? I'm not. I'm doing it last. Yeah, that's the last thing that we'll do. Right? There you go. Get some feel for narrative, my friends. Uh, it, will, uh, it will benefit you in many ways. Anything good to look at? Not especially. Anything good to look at? Oh, well. Yeah. City on the horizon. Yeah. City on the top of the mountain. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. City on the horizon. Yeah. Something over there. Yeah. Factory. Mmm. Tasteful. Uh, what have we got? Three. Three barrels of oil. Well, it was always going to take a couple to get warmed up, but uh, I'm feeding more oil onto the main line and making use of that bit of bit of spur we've got at Charlotte makes sense. The other bit of spur, of course. Well, actually, <clears throat> we'll we'll run another one out here, and uh, and grab this lot. Yeah, and then we'll run some more out this way and grab those two. I spoke about this last time. Okay. Well, we'll get to it next time. What do I want to look at? Let's go up to Independence and uh, and watch the airport. Bet there's no planes. Have some faith. There'll be a plane. There'll be a plane. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. When? Well, not now. Obviously, any cargo waiting? When you say cargo, no, that's a no, isn't it? All right. We need to route more stuff onto here. Yeah. Okay. Should be working by now, but it's not. I've been Colonel Failure. Uh, tune in next time for further adventures, where further adventures will happen. And, uh, and I'll catch up with you soon, and, uh, and, and so forth. Uh, which side are you? You're coming in from this side, aren't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Any side of any planes? When you say plane... All right, I'm hitting the accelerator. Yeah, there you go. We're going to back it up a little bit as well, so we get the optimum uh, flight landing angle path countdown here. Yeah, I'm not going to leave you till we've got this. And then I'll slow it down. And then I'll, I'll say the magic words, and we'll cut to the bit with me and the camera. All right, everybody ready? Everybody on standby? Continue standing by, because nothing's happened yet. But uh, it will, it will, something will happen. Any time now. That's about, that's a, that's a pretty good, that's a good, good angle. Yep, good spot, right. 
Okay, right here. That's where we're going to sit. This is the one. Right here. We're running at maximum speed now. Also, you can tell that I'm running a lot of unprofitable stuff at the moment because my money is not going up very fast. And that is being, that's being carried quite significantly. Where are the planes? Um, by, uh, by 100 million quid being generated by a single main line. I'm not even kidding. We might even look it up. It appears that, you know, there's no planes out at the moment. Uh, if we bring this up, right, and then we sort by balance. Oh, it's only 70 million. Okay, beg your pardon. Freight main line east. Oh, here it comes. Right, there we go. Quick, shut that off. Right. Cheerio! Now, look, I hadn't intended to go into an impromptu review there, but uh, we're coming towards the end of this series, I think. Uh, maybe another half dozen episodes. It feels like I'll, I'll probably be done in about that many. Um, and uh, and this is a, it's a moment of reflection. Uh, this being the second series that I've done. Is it only the second? Yeah, it's the second series that I've done on Transport Fever 2. And, uh, and I've got plenty of plans in place for, for what I'm going to do next. But I'm going like, you know, is this, you know, is this, is how, how well has it got its hooks going? Now, I think mods can add a significant amount to your enjoyment of the game, and that's, that's absolutely fine. The game is set up to support modding very nicely indeed, and, and uh, it was probably just as well. Uh, but it, it's, it's all very well doing high detailing and stuff, but I'm not in it to build model railways. I'm in it to build a, a model railway with a financial component, and the financial component is not quite there on this one. It's, it's rather too easy. There's a number of ways that I could make things tough on myself, play on, uh, play on hard mode, but by all the reports that I've heard, you play it on hard mode, it's only the same thing. Uh, once you get over the initial hurdles, you're done. Um, and... Uh, look, and also I have, I have no interest in, in just battering hard mode. That's It's either going to be a source of frustration or it's going to be no problem at all. Uh, and I'd, either way, it's not necessarily going to make for something compelling. Um, we'll see. Anyway, I've got ideas and we'll see how they pan out.